Hello, this is Evangelist Robert L. McKim, Sr. First off, I want to let you know, keep me in your prayers, because I'm running a slight fever again of 99.5. I've been feeling, well, my chest has been hurting, I've been stuffy. Feeling nauseated every now and then when I'm up, standing up for too long. I just don't feel good. It seems like every time I go outside, I went to church. Uh, yesterday morning, my pastor took me to church and came back home. And then, well, while I was standing in church singing, felt like a couple of times I was going to pass out, and uh, but I didn't. Anyhow, come home, standing to uh, fix uh, supper, and I felt like I was going, you know, get nauseated. Came back in, sat down. But I wanted to show you before I get off of here what Google Wallet had said in an email to me. Basically, did, Renee, she did not, and she swears, she did not put the other $2.12 on any other email other than Guardian of the Tower of Eternity. That's her email that she used to, uh, You know, basically, you know, put the uh, ex expand the uh, storage space, but they were they're trying to say they can't find where the other two dollars and twelve cents went to, other than their guess basically is that it went to a different email address. Well, that's the thing. What email address did it go to? She swears that is the only email that she opened up and put the twelve dollars and twelve the tw uh, two dollars and twelve cents on, and then the next she went in the next day to look at her email space, and it wasn't expanded. So she went, she asked for the card again, and I, uh, she said it wasn't working. It didn't take. Is how she said it didn't take, it didn't expand. So she used my card again, and then it worked. Google, I am so sorry to say, and every other computer company out there anymore, are nothing but a bunch of ripoff artists. They have all these rules that allows them to charge you even when you don't want to be charged. For 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 this, for instance, uh, Google Music Manager b before it turned to Google Wallet, they had the free version and then they had the paid version. But yet, even if you download the free version version of it a uh, uh, version of it yeah not virgin but version of it <sighs> my chest hurts long story short even if you move music from your computer to a mobile device they consider that as using the Google Music Manager, Google Wallet. You can, even 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 if you download the music from your computer to Google Wallet, that they consider that as using it. And once you use it, so you could download it for free, but once you use their product. Then they have the right to charge you $9.99 a month until you cancel it. 
That's where they get you. It's not really free. It says free, but it's not free. It's free to download, free to look at. But once you start using it, that's where they got you. Because I got, um, oh, hang on a second, I'm moving some email here. I'm achy all over. It's been raining here in Ohio last night. Anyhow, dropped down into the uh, upper 30s. for what uh, this guy here stays up about two days straight mostly at night and tries to make contacts at night while everybody else is doing bed and I don't feel like answering him But he he some he seems like he doesn't understand that you know. Well, I know I saw it somewhere. I can't remember where it was now. Well, maybe, might be, might be, might be in this. No, not in that. Well, anyhow, long story short, I got saved somewhere. Just can't remember where it is right now. But what I wanted to also say was that um, I speak the truth in love, not corrupt words. Words. I do not try to corrupt anybody with my words I speak the truth about end time prophecies I speak the truth about my dreams I speak the truth about my uh, near death experience but yet there are people out there according to the scriptures say so like in uh, Leviticus you should not go about as a tabler among your people, nor shall you take a stand against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. And then in the New Testament, Ephesians, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things unto him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body the whole body, that's uh, the entire church. Not, not this church and that church and some other church. The entire church joined and knitted, knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share 
cause growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. And then let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for the necessary edification, what it may impart grace to the hearers. See, the thing is, when some people out there are saying uh, a, that I'm an A star star hole, I'm uh, Jim Jones, I'm uh, a Pharisee, I'm this, I'm that, I'm something else because of my preaching of the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the entire gospel, the, the words of Jesus Christ and what Jesus Christ said. Many don't like hearing the fact that we are still under the law that Jesus had set up in the New Testament. But see, they, they, they want to say, well, he did away with the law. Jesus never said he did away with the law. He came to fulfill the law. He came to fulfill the sacrifice of the law. He became our sacrifice. But the rest of the law, the Ten Commandments, the commandments, the commandments, the commandments are still intact today. He summed them all up in two. Love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body. And love our neighbors as we love ourselves. But see, there's a lot of people out there that love themselves way more than they love their neighbors. <sighs> and because I, 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 I tried, I asked for help a long time ago. Uh, last year, I think it was, or the year before. Then I started getting criticized. Constantly criticized. Well, if you can't do it yourself, then you don't need it. You need to move into an apartment complex in a bigger city. Take a, 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 a city transportation where you need to go. And, 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 and they even still to date, people still try to tell me that I don't need to live in the country where people will help one another. Not stab you in the back. Or break into your home and steal everything you have. What you're allowed to have. That's something else too. It's like these, these Christians think because they have a job, they are, are worth more than, than the poor Christian. God looks at us all the same. But, see, in, re in reality, Sharia law, that's how Sharia law works. Sharia law looks down on the, on the uh, poor. Sharia law looks down on uh, women. Sharia law looks down on uh, anybody, of course, that doesn't believe in Muhammad. And these people are acting as if they are enforcing Sharia law on the poor Christian. The Christians who cannot hold a job because they're sick. Or lame in their body like I am. I am lame in my body, but yet they think I still should be able to hold a job. Like As I just showed you, I am running a slight fever again. Just like I did the other morning. Oh, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. Please, please keep me in your prayers. Those out there who, who uh, are listening but are too afraid to stand up for the truth. Please start making some comments. Please making some good comments, and and trying to and 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 what you know whatever you want to say, but you need to rebuke 
you need to rebuke these people in the name of Jesus Christ that are constantly saying all the negative things about me and about Renee. It's time to stop. Stop. I I've asked you many times to stop. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. But your problem is you, you think you're smart and you want to be a smart uh, booty. Because that's, all, that's what you are. You're not a you are not a Christian. Period. Anybody that didn't that, oh yeah, they believe in Jesus. Christ. Demons believe in Jesus Christ too. The devil believes in Jesus Christ too. But they are a, a, a Satan is a is a uh, accuser of the brethren, and this man is always accusing me. And this other person is always accusing me of not believing the way they think I should be believing. I believe the way the Holy Spirit wants me to believe. I believe in the entire Word of God. And, and what gives me is there are a lot of people out there. Now, get scriptures totally out of context. They want to tell me, well, if, if I don't take care of my own, then I'm worse than an infidel. But yeah, if you would read the scriptures before that and after that, it is totally talking about not taking care of widows. I'm not a widow. And Renee's not a widow. So that scripture has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. Even the scripture, a lot of people want to bring out, oh, the Bible says if you don't work, you shouldn't eat. Then I guess I should have been starved to death a long time ago. Because I can't work. It isn't I don't want to work. I cannot hold a job. I could not go to work with a fever. Infecting everybody else in the workplace. They say, well, there's things that you can do at home. Excuse me, when I don't feel good, really don't feel good, I just want to just, you know, be just left alone, lay down and go, you know, and go to sleep. Take take some Tylenol, ibuprofen, whatever, and, and lay down and go to sleep. But the government, my Part D wants to take away my Nabitone. I don't really know about the other medications because I haven't heard anything from this new insurance company about them. But with the other insurance company, I had to get prior authorization f for my Nexium. And I have to get prior authorization for uh, my uh, Andrew Jail Pump. If anybody out there is cursing me, they better stop. Because sooner or later, God God is going to be my venger. Mark my words. When I had it, my first job, and my supervisor lied on me, she said I missed 16 days of work without a valid excuse. And and truth of the matter is, I only was off for seven days, six to seven days with the flu. And I had an excuse from Dr. Agricola. But I was threatened to leave the property and turn in my uniform. When I, I found out what she said, 
when I went to go file for unemployment. I had to fight for my unemployment. The thing is, what gets me is when the unemployment office try to contact the main company. They refuse to contact. They refuse to contact the unemployment office. Eventually, when uh, the main company, Ohio Security Systems, did contact the uh, unemployment office, they they said that. Uh, I missed 16 days of work without a valid excuse. I'm like, here's all my pay stubs. Here's all my pay stubs. That proves I did not miss 16 days. I only missed six. Six. And another d a day one uh, somewhere else. Six total with the flu and another day when I was sick. <clears throat> Long story short, I, you know, I had to go in every so often and, you know, try to look for a job and I had to look on this board and, and I had to, you know, basically go in and, and fill out of, uh, you know, this uh, book that I was there looking for a job, get my card stamped. And while I was there at the unemployment office in New Philadelphia, Ohio, at the time, uh, someone needs to tell him sometime that uh, uh, there's going to be a PL on the two meter repeater soon. They're going to be putting a PL on the repeater, on the two meter. They're going to do some changing with the repeater. But long story short, um, as I was saying, sh I walked in to you know check on jobs, and lo and behold, lo and behold, there was my ex supervisor and some other employees of the security company. Standing there in line, trying to get their unemployment. And this is like maybe like a couple of weeks after I got my um, unemployment. So the work, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and He is avenger of the saints. He will ven avenge me. So I, 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 I just, you know, sit back and pray and uh, wait for God's hand to move. And lots of times, yeah, he moves in mysterious ways. God bless you. Have a blessed day.